on, Dragon Ball Super fans? Over to Hammy Gaming here today, bringing you some groundbreaking news information and updates surrounding the new chapter for Dragon Ball Super Chapter 8, just released on Kazentry.com, guys. And of course, translated by Herms. Shout outs to Herms from Kazentry for translating the Chapter 8 manga. This chapter actually had bearings that I am very excited about. Now, first things first, guys, we get an inside look on the sand that's on Shampa's team, Kaib or Kaba, however it is you want to call him, a reference to Cabbage, of course. Uh, we get to see him have an interaction with Vegeta, uh, with Goku, and the others, and it's pretty interesting interesting because he talks about his origin and we were all curious as to you know uh what the saiyan actually looked like you know where he was from um you know how powerful he essentially is and whatnot now cabe is actually from a planet called planet salad and in universe 6 the saiyans are still considered a warrior race but they don't steal planets they actually are employed to take down evil beings it is the exact polar opposite of what we've seen in universe 7 now uh universe 6 saiyans also have lost their tails via evolution so we don't get to see uh tails is being held by Cave or anybody else because uh, due to an evolutionary process the Saiyans in Universe 6 have essentially lost their tails. Now, the most interesting part about this entire, you know, situation, I would suppose, is the fact that Vegeta wants to visit Planet Salad. And actually, Cave actually agrees since they don't steal planets anymore. So, does this mean Vegeta is going to visit the planet of the Saiyans once again? Because remember, um, this planet is still around and since they don't, you know, steal planets or whatnot, there might be more Saiyans on this planet that we don't know about so uh there could be a possible outcome to where after the universe you know seven versus universe six arc goes by the, the the following arc after that just very well might be goku and vegeta traveling to this new planet of the saiyans and whatnot we don't know who's on there we don't know what's on there but of course the planet is there now another interesting factor to note is the fact that kaba is unfamiliar with the name frieza he is he does not recognize the name which is very interesting if you ask me because that just assumes the position that frieza does not exist in their universe nor does a being like frieza exist because there was even a notion where Piccolo notes that Frost's presence does not feel violent. And Frost is actually the uh, Arcosian Frieza clansman that we see on Universe 6, the one that looks just like Frieza. He doesn't seem to have a violent presence about him. So even if he does exist in Universe 6, he doesn't seem to have any sort of history to where he is resembling someone like Frieza, which is very interesting because Piccolo noted that as he stated in on Kanzanchu.com uh, that Frost does not have a presence of violence. Now, um, in Universe 7, Salad is actually a Saiyan's, you know, homeworld as well, before it was destroyed by the internal discord, which pretty much forced them to go to another planet and rename it Planet Vegeta. Now, that is very interesting because that just, you know, assumes the position of that being the Saiyan's origin homeworld. So, Vegeta actually wants to go there, and Kaba actually agreed. So, going on to the tournament itself. Now, there is a test that you have to take, uh, and the test has 10 questions, and the first person to fail absolutely everything without even getting his name right was, of course, Majin Buu. He did not get anything right. He can barely write his own name. Goku, however, he barely passed with a 50%. In order to participate in this tournament, you have to get 50% or more. And um, there was an order determined on who's going to fight first from last. Um, and Goku actually was selected first. Now, the order in which this is going to follow is going to be this. It's going to be Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta. And Beerus actually demanded that Monaka fights last. For whatever reason that is, I guess Beerus wants to save the best for last. We don't know um, the raw depth of power that Monaka has, but Beerus demanded that Monaka fights last. So Goku's going to fight first, Piccolo's going to fight second, Vegeta's going to fight third. Of course, we have a blank person who's going to fight fourth, and Monaka's going to fight last. Now, the question here is, is Majin Buu going to be replaced? Because Vegeta's, uh, Vegeta's pretty much, you know, overall here was the fact that if you fail this test, you cannot be in this tournament. So is Majin Buu going to be replaced? If so, who can possibly replace Majin Buu? Could it be Gohan? We don't know. Could it be someone like Goku? tanks i highly doubt it but we never know we don't know in which direction they're gonna go in uh but needless to say that is the lineup as of right now and uh you know uh Bo botamo i believe in is botamo is gonna be the first person to fight on champa's team which is the teddy bear so it's gonna be goku versus botamo that is gonna be the first match of the round and um pretty much champa underestimates you know beerus's saiyans uh but suggests that botamo has his own surprise and stuff so i am very very excited to see what botamo has in store for goku because of course um we all assume the position that Goku's gonna fr fight, you know, Frost or Heat, uh, but in fact, he's gonna fight Botamo first, which is gonna be very interesting because we're gonna have Goku versus the giant yellow teddy bear. So, um, in terms of the other lineups, we're not entirely too sure as of right now, um, but Botamo is uh, the very first person that's gonna fight on Champa's team. Lots of interesting developments happening right now. More information is coming, so as soon as that happens, I will make sure to inform you guys as soon as I can. Again, if you guys wanna see more, and if you guys wanna, you know, ultimately find out more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. But yes, uh, this opens up 
doors to many possible outcomes because again we don't know in the direction on what's going to happen after this universal god tournament arc uh perhaps maybe there's going to be an arc where goku and vegeta are going to travel uh to their home world in universe 6 apparently you know the original you know home planet of planet sally where the saiyans actually were before planet vegeta and that opens up doors to so many possibilities but as of right now guys of course we have goku versus botamo we have um kaba actually agreeing that vegeta visits his planet so many awesome things guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below uh what kind of saiyans do you guys think exist on planet salad and how do you guys think the pl the fight between goku and botamo is going to play off once they collide what kind of secrets does botamo have although goku is a super saiyan god super saiyan training with vegeta in the hyperbolic time for three years what does botamo have up his sleeve that can use that can ultimately be used to his advantage comment down below guys once again thank you all for watching if you guys are dragon ball super fans don't forget to subscribe to my channel that way you guys don't miss a single episode if you guys are excited about this if you guys cannot wait smash that like button leave your thoughts in the comment section below guys tune in for more lots of major spoilers headed your way guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next update take it easy everybody peace